Hello, I am Kota Sakurai from Japan, the University of Tokyo. My presentation title is here, Making Uncoordinated Machines Cooperate, a Game Theory Approach. This is my agenda. First, I will show you the background of our research and present a problem that should be solved to achieve a mechanization in construction fields. The second one is our approach to solve such a mechanization. Then we'll show you the result of our mechanization challenge, and we will say the conclusion. Now, let me start my presentation. The first topic is our background. First and foremost, collaboration is very important in the construction field. This is because we have to make a big architecture by a construction. This is an example of a construction field. A cement mixer truck is pouring a concrete, a crane is carrying some steel, an excavator is digging the soil, and some trucks are carrying the soil. And quite naturally, these machines are controlled by human operators. This is because no construction machine can conduct their tasks by themselves. Construction is a very difficult behavior. In steps of construction, many kinds of machines are involved, and the interaction among them plays a very important role. This is the effect of collaboration. By a collaboration of many machines, we can conduct a very big construction task. Human operators already know the effect of this collaboration and assemble their construction actions in a very natural way. Then, what about machines? What will happen if we replace human workers into machines? We insist that we can make the construction more efficiently by thinking of this collaboration effect among construction machines. As I have explained, the collaboration is very important to conduct a big construction task. This is the same when we replace human workers into machines. The machines actually have a very big interdependency with each other. We call this function altruism. Every action of construction machines has this altruism, gives a good effect on the other's actions, and these altruisms make a collaboration effect. So our goal in this study is to make a construction machine think of altruism. This is because tasks and actions from construction machines have very deep interdependent relationships with each other. And we we'll make them smarter, finish the task, construction task faster. We use an easy construction test as an example of collaboration, a borrowing task. A borrowing task is a job of digging and carrying the soil from the excavation area to a certain destination. And the excavator cooperate to carry much soil in a shorter minutes. The biggest point for machines is collision problem. If two or more machines go to the same place at the same time, the collision happens. This is because the loads of this construction field are too narrow. To avoid this collision, they have to acquire some method of concession without knowing the other's intentions, what the other machines are thinking. This is a concept of altruism. We tend to make the machines to think of the concept of altruism in order to avoid the collision problem and finish the following task as fast as possible. The next is the method part. First, we try to write down the function of altruism in a calculation model. We use Q-value approach. Q-value defines how much value one's action has in a certain situation. And the value relationship among involved agents can be written in this function. Action value Q can be improved by a collaboration effect. 
we realize the circumstance by using rewarding design theory. Q value presented in previous study was only for single agent. So we expanded it into multi-agent model. The biggest difference is the entry of weighting function to others' choices and the integration function. Next, I will explain the calculation. The biggest problem in multi-agent model is they cannot completely grasp what others are thinking. In our construction example, the situation that the agent doesn't know which way the other agent used, and, the, and this causes a collision problem. This situation can be written down as following uh, by using a figure of equilibrium options in game theory model. The essence of collision problem is uncontrollable and invisible other's choice. This problem is called multiple equilibrium choice issue. However, we can substitute this invisible information by a believable way. The way is Bayesian belief. The method we adopted is to separate clearly the actual strategy, which is controllable for an agent, and the Bayesian belief, which is uncontrollable for an agent. We guess others' choice and substitute in the real, reliable way. The right combination makes the right cho choice possible. The function following to the Bayesian approach is the weighting function in this calculation. The weighting function and the integration calculation plays a role of Bayesian belief, and this part plays a lot, and the right part plays a role of my action strategy. The combination of right assumption of Bayesian belief and the action strategy enables the agent to choose a truly good choice for everyone. And next, we assemble a deep learning model, which enables our approach. The base theory is DDPG algorithm, which was presented in the previous study, and we modified DDPG model to our approach. The partner action estimation network was added. And the combination of three network enables a truly good choice for agents. As I explained, we combined the deep learning model and the multiple equilibrium action choice theory and attempted to solve the collision problem. As I explained in the previous slide, we use the borrowing machines as a problem for multiple machines and evaluated how machine became cooperative and smart. So next, I will present you the result of our research. This figure shows the progress of machine learning. As you can see, the more the machine solves the problem, the smarter machine becomes. In our study, we succeeded in up to 99.94% shortening of the conducting time in the appropriate action choice model. This is a video of task execution. The right side is success story, and the left side is failure story. In the success story, two machines are cooperatively conduct conducting the carrying task. So we can say we could make the cooperative machines by using our approach and setting the appropriate running model. This is a video of task execution. Real task execution. This is a video of real task execution by two machines. As you can see here, two machines are conducting the carrying task with a little help of humans. And uh, the advantage of our proposal approach is a less collision. In the previous approach, the swarms who marked no collision score was 26%, but this figure improved. 29% of the swarms could conduct the task with no collisions. The trend that no collision task uh, swarms can conduct the task earlier is supposed to be the best advantage of our 
proposal approach. And our approach can be applied to three machine circumstances. As you can see, three machines are appropriately trained and conducting the carrying task in a faster minute than two machines. This graph shows the execution time of carrying task. Naturally, three, uh, three machines can carry the soil in a shorter minute than two machines. This is because all of three machines commit to the carrying task without sabotage. This point, sorry. <coughs> this point is the, is the execution time of three machines and the line uh, is a mi minimum score of two machines. So we could make the swarm of three machines smarter than two machines. And finally, I will present our conclusion. In our construction experimental situation, each of two or three dump trucks has successfully been made cooperative and altruistic. Also in the future, construction might be conducted in a more efficiently, efficient way by teaching the concept of sociality to construction machines. These are the references. And we gratefully acknowledge the iConstruction members and Moonshot Research Development Program members. That's all. Thank you for listening. <laughs>